Let's cut right to the chase. Lots of people want Megalodon to still be out there, but are they? As time goes by, more and more people find evidence that seems to suggest these king-sized sharks might not be as dead as we thought they are. Of course, there's every chance these so-called clues are nothing but hoaxes and the believers nothing but fools. But let's take a look anyway, just in case. Here are the reasons the Megalodon may still exist. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or Slenderman will come for you under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 15. Video Evidence As the old saying goes, seeing is believing. In 2019, a video posted on YouTube came with the hope that everybody would believe what they saw. A giant shark leaping out of the ocean to grab something in its jaws. But there's a catch. While the shark initially looks like a typical great white, there's something different. It's far, far too big to be considered a normal or ordinary great white. While great whites can ultimately grow up to 20 feet in length, this shark appears to be much, much bigger. Raising the question, is it a great white or is it our old prehistoric friend? I mean, for all we know, this could be the shark from Jaws a few decades on. Who knows? As with almost everything on YouTube, the video inspired much debate and speculation with many suggesting that the whole thing is nothing but a hoax or the work of talented computer VFX artists hoping to create a viral sensation. After all, think of all the viral shark videos we've had from the Super Bowl dancing shark through to Baby Shark. Still, proving a hoax is an incredibly difficult task and since nobody has been able to disprove the video as of yet, we can conclude that this may very well be Jason Statham's old friend. Now it's time for the odd topic. This photo from Brazil seems to show the surface corpse of a dead shark. That much is clear, but what's baffling is the sheer size of the thing. The shark's body is said to have been found by a marine biologist who was exploring nearby when he saw it floating in the far distance. Quickly as he could, he assembled a team and had the body dragged to the beach. Given the size of it, surely it's a megalodon, right? What do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 14. The Coelacanth it may sound like something from a science fiction story, but the coelacanth is living proof that extinction is not necessarily the end. It was long believed that the coelacanth, a small fish that lives far beneath the surface of the ocean, had been extinct for over 65 million years. But in 1938, scientists found a living specimen of the fish off the coast of South Africa, debunking any claim that the coelacanth no longer existed. Even science gets it wrong sometimes. The rediscovery of this long-missing species has led many to suspect that the megalodon has befallen a similar fate, hiding deep below the ocean, far from the eyes of curious humans. But scientists have largely dismissed this theory, noting that the megalodon preferred shallow, warm water and was particularly fond of prowling the coasts. They claim that it's highly unlikely for the megalodon to adapt so drastically to a whole new life in the cold depths of the wide open ocean. But while scientists claim that the possibility of the Meg survival is less than 1%, the rediscovery of the coelacanth means that there is now a precedent for the rediscovery of species long thought to be extinct. With new technology, scientists are exploring our world in ways previously impossible. And if smaller fish can adapt to a whole new ecosystem, who's to say that the ultimate aquatic predator can't do the same? Maybe the Megalodon is a vegan now. Actually, probably not. Number 13 the unexplored ocean. Our planet could easily be mistaken as a breeding ground for sharks. 70% of planet Earth is made up of water, with our oceans taking up a vast 361.9 million square kilometers, all teeming with life. In every single one of our five oceans, there exist delicate ecosystems filled with fish, algae, sharks, and more. But despite the thousands of oceanographers, geographers, and others who've dedicated their lives to exploring these hidden worlds, there's a lot more left to discover. Only 15% of Earth's oceans have been explored, meaning that there's an incredible 85% completely untouched. As technology develops, it's becoming easier and more accessible for scientists and marine biologists to explore these once unreal reachable worlds. Every day, new species are being observed and old species once believed to be lost are being rediscovered. All of this suggests that the megalodon can exist without necessarily having been discovered. Perhaps it's hiding in one of these unexplored expanses, playing the world's greatest game of hide and seek. Ready or not? Number 12. Megalodon Teeth if you ever wondered why there are so many cheap shark tooth necklaces on sale at pretty much every clothing store, then here's an answer just for you. It turns out that shark teeth are not only manufactured to help hipsters and beach dwellers feel more in tune with nature, but it's also 
just a lot of them on the ocean floor. Sharks lose a set of teeth every one to two weeks, depending on what they've been eating, and they're able to produce new ones throughout their entire life. Basically, it's a good thing they don't have dentists. Because of this bi-weekly tooth loss, it's no real surprise that almost every megalodon fossil recovered is a tooth. In fact, megalodon quite literally translates to big tooth, so it's really on brand to keep putting out this kind of merchandise. Megalodon teeth can grow up to 18 centimeters long, making them far more noticeable on the ocean floor than typical shark teeth. But the question remains, how is it that so many teeth are being discovered if the meg is genuinely extinct? Scientists believe that the reason is logical. Sharks' teeth are one of a handful of bones in their entire skeleton. It makes complete sense that such material would remain intact and fossilize over thousands or even millions of years. Still, it also suggests that there could in theory be a whole new group of megalodons eating well in the depths of the ocean. If a shark loses its teeth every two weeks, then it must be possible for these teeth to be brand new. There could be a very well-fed megalodon out there. Number 11. The whale tail. No, we're not talking about underwear here, but an actual whale's tail. In January 2009, a Hawaii resident out at sea happened to catch sight of something strange on the beach. A dead whale had washed up, with its entire back end missing. Closer inspection revealed that the whale seemed to have had its tail bitten clean off, leaving its guts and entrails pouring out onto the sand. Well, I never said all the reasons would be pretty. In the footage, it's clear that the injury suffered by the whale is something far more severe than a typical shark could inflict. The severing of the tail is clean and looks to have been done in a single bite, something that would be impossible for even the biggest ordinary shark. The cameraman and viewers of the video only have one explanation. Such a huge bite could only be the work of a megalodon or a very, very hungry large fish, but probably the meg. For the more skeptical among us, it's worth noting that megalodons were well-known carnivores who regularly feasted on dolphins, whales, and even other sharks. Couple that with our knowledge that megalodons prefer coastal waters as well as the sheer size of their teeth and jaws, and it's not unrealistic to assume that this was the work of a megalodon. If nothing else, it's nice to know that even prehistoric animals thought Hawaii was a beautiful place to visit. Number 10. The Cape Town Sighting Despite the world being slightly preoccupied, it seems that even wars can't stop a visit from the Meg. On the 18th of December 1942, Nazi German soldiers piloting two U-boats in Cape Town, South Africa, happened to catch a photograph of a shark passing by their submersibles. But of course, the photo would prove that this was not any ordinary shark. The picture shows a creature of approximately 64 feet long from fin to tail, suggesting that the animal may be the subject of our fear and adoration. It may well be the Meg. Documentaries exploring this sighting have interviewed marine biologists who have confirmed that the creature seen in the photo is likely to be the Big Don himself. But it's also worth noting that these biologists are seemingly untraceable, giving the skeptics some superiority on that one. Sorry to all you Meg fans, I really did try my best. Of course, the skeptics continue to find ways to poke holes in this sighting, raising questions about the validity of the photograph. Some have managed to locate the alleged original sharkless frame of footage, while others have noted that the 64 feet between the fin and the tail suggest that this creature was twice the size of the typical Meg. Still, many believe the photo to be a legitimate piece of evidence that proves once and for all that the extinction is nothing but a red herring or a red shark. Number 9. The Coast Guard Sighting as the home of alligators and other water-dwelling predators, it may be unsurprising that Florida was singled out as the location of a Meg sighting. In 2012, the Florida Coast Guard was sent on a mission to recover a group of people from a capsized boat. During their efforts to rescue those at sea, a high-speed camera capturing the rescue in action picked up what may be footage of the Meg. Close inspection of the footage shows a dark, striking shadow that passes by the boat and survivors themselves under the water. While the survivors may not have noticed, it's hard to miss from this footage. The shadow is extremely long, much longer than any other shark we've ever seen. Marine biologists have claimed that the shark in the video is a whale shark, noted for its ability to grow as long as 18 meters and fondness for open tropical waters. Of course, this is a perfectly valid explanation, but is irrelevant to the video in question, which was filmed in neither tropical nor open open water, but a coastline. On the other hand, the Meg is known for preferring the warmish waters of a coastline, and as a surface dweller, it's never been particularly afraid of lurking just under the waves. While the debate will rage on about exactly what kind of shark this is, we firmly believe it could be the Meg. Number 8. Mariana Trench Known as the deepest trench in the world, the Mariana Trench is the ultimate hiding place for underwater creatures who don't want to be bothered by the human world. Hidden away in the Pacific Ocean, the farthest known depth in the trench is around 36,000 feet, so deep 
that Mount Everest could fit completely inside of it without getting close to breaching the surface. Scientists have discovered that there's vibrant life within this depth, as creatures from Xenophyre Force to tiny microbial life forms thrive in this unexplored ecosystem. But there is one creature who is as of yet unaccounted for, the Megalodon. If the Meg really is hiding deep underwater, having adapted to the whole new climate and depth that comes with it, there would be nowhere better to hide than the Mariana Trench. Tucked far away from human disruption, with much room to live and thrive, the trench is practically a hideaway for celebrity fish. It's the Hamptons or the Beverly Hills of the ocean. But perhaps most importantly for a predator like the Meg, the trench has an extra appeal. Thousands and thousands of little fish swim around just waiting to be eaten. If the Meg is hiding anywhere underwater, it would most likely likely be in the largely unexplored Mariana Trench. With so many species and so much space, it's hard to deny the appeal of such a perfect hideaway for such a legendary predator. Is it possible that our favorite fish is just waiting at the deepest point for some documentary crew to stumble upon it? We'll have to wait and see. Number 7. The Japanese Species When you're searching for a prehistoric animal, it can sometimes help to try and bait it out of extinction. Okay, you know what I mean. A group of Japanese researchers exploring the Mariana Trench had this exact idea, hoping to discover what kind of sharks were thriving deep inside the trench. Lining a bait cage with meat and an attached camera, they began to lower the cage until something came to feed. Of course, the creature feeding on their bait was no ordinary fish but a long, massive beast of a shark that soon vanished deep into the trench. Of course, marine biologists initially dismissed the footage as insufficient proof of the megalodon, suggesting instead that it's a run-of-the-mill Pacific sleeper shark, often found in the Pacific Ocean. That didn't really go down well with shark aficionados, who pointed out that the Pacific sleeper shark only grows to 20 feet, while this shark looks to be far, far longer. Scientists know their stuff, but YouTube also knows stuff. Knowing that the megalodon was capable of growing up to 60 feet long, this footage proves to be rather difficult to dismiss. Without biologists tracking or studying the shark in question, there's no real way to know if this was simply a Pacific sleeper shark or a thriving megalodon. Still, we happen to think it may be the meg. Feel free to drop us a line in the comments if you have any idea. Number 6. The Mexican Beach Shark Vacations often conjure up fond memories of hot sand, warm sun, unidentified bodies of beach sharks. Whoa, hey. Well, maybe the last one doesn't happen too often, but it happened to one group of unsuspecting tourists. While vacationing in Mexico, a group of tourists were stunned to discover that a massive 40-foot-long unidentified species of shark had washed up on the shore near their resort. Of course, in true vacation style, the tourists immediately ran toward the beached animal and began taking photos and videos to remember their vacation time forever. After all, why pay for a souvenir when you can take a picture with a possible megalodon for free? Despite so many tourists getting photos, the actual species of shark was never researched by marine biologists or scientists, and unfortunately, the shark soon was washed back out into the ocean, rendering it impossible to recover and meaning that we'll never truly know. Still, those tourists have gifted the world with their images, making it possible for us to get a good look at what may well be a meg or just a big dead shark. Number 5. The Indonesian Sighting it seems that any time you board a boat, there's a possible chance of a megalodon sighting. Case in point, a man sailing off the coast of Indonesia happened to catch sight of a shark passing by his boat. But of course, was this really just another shark passing by, or was this perhaps one of these rare sightings? While the shark kept its distance and stayed beneath the surface, the cameraman was able to zoom in just enough to truly capture an idea of its massive size. In the footage, the dorsal fin alone appears to be around five feet tall. For those of you that aren't great with envisioning heights or measurements, that's about the size of Danny DeVito wearing a bowler hat. You're welcome. The shark also appears to be at least 30 feet in length, or six bowler wearing Danny DeVitos laid end to end in a line, raising yet more questions about the species. Is this just a very, very large great white, or is there another species that hasn't been identified? Or just maybe this is the legendary Danny Dev. Sorry, this is the Megalodon. Come to think of it, is Danny DeVito the new Megalodon? We're going to have to look into that one. Number 4. Google Earth More than just a blatant invasion of privacy, Google Earth is a conspiracy theorist toolbox. Google Earth has been used to find Atlantis to try and infiltrate Area 51 and has now even been used to track the Meg, and it may well have worked. Somehow, someone browsing on Google Earth discovered a captured aerial image of a shark off the coast of Iraq and the discovery isn't entirely out of the realm of possibility. Bearing in mind that the Google Earth cameras are taken from very high in the air, any animals that it captures with such clarity must be huge. How often do you see pugs or poodles or hamsters? 
Exactly. To see a shark with such clarity from such a height means that this creature is likely around 70 feet in length. That is a very, very, very big shark. But there's something else that points to this being a strong possible sighting. It lines up with everything we know about the Meg. We know from historical research that the Meg loves coastal waters, is a surface dweller, and typically grows to around 60 feet on average. Well, this image seems to suggest all of those things. If any skeptics are watching, feel free to explain this one in the comments below. This may be as close as we get to definite proof, or it could be a big shark. Number three, the HMS Challenger. Sure, the HMS Challenger has been out of service since the late 1800s, but that's also what they say about the Meg. The HMS Challenger was a Royal Navy ship typically used for marine expeditions back in the 1800s, and that is precisely where the Meg comes in. In 1875, the HMS Challenger discovered a pair of Megalodon teeth while dredging the Tahiti seabed as part of an expedition. These teeth have been the subject of intense debate, with experts dating them anywhere between 10,000 and 25,000 years old. That, of course, is a very long time, but it doesn't line up with the generally agreed extinction date of the Meg. According to scientists, the Megalodon went extinct around one and a half million years ago. So if the Meg, which may I remind you loses teeth every two weeks, is extinct, how exactly did it leave behind a tooth several hundred thousand years after the date it disappeared? Of course, there's no real answer to that, and scientists continue to dispute the claims. But if the dating is accurate, it suggests that not only was the Meg somehow able to survive the Ice Age, but that it's likely learned to adapt to a whole new life. If that is the case, it stands the reason that the Megalodon is surviving and thriving in the new and rapidly changing temperatures of our oceans, and generally, I'm glad there's one species able to do that. Number two, cartilage. Many skeptics claim that if the Megalodon were truly alive, some of its remains would have been recovered from the ocean floor. Of course, this is almost impossible to achieve. The biology of sharks is significantly different than that of mammals, in that they lack what we consider to be a skeleton. A shark's body is made up almost entirely of cartilage, with the only bones being found in the jaw, back and teeth. Shark remains tend to decompose rather quickly within the ocean water, and any leftovers are almost always eaten by other animals, often sharks themselves. Think Hannibal Lecter, but fish. So what does that mean for our pursuit of the Meg? It means that the only way we could trace this legendary creature would be to locate the jaw bones, spinal bones, or teeth, the latter of which we know to be the most commonly recovered fossil. So without more conclusive proof of dead megalodons, it's hard to prove definitely that the creature is extinct. Number one. Divers footage. When you live your life exploring the oceans, you're likely going to come across a giant prehistoric shark now and then. That's what happened to a group of Australian cage divers who witnessed what may just be one of the first undeniable sightings of Megalodon in our modern age. While it has the appearance and the body structure associated with a typical great white, the sheer size of the animal has led many to suggest that this creature may just have something special about it. Of course, marine biologists and scientists have, as expected, dismissed the footage as merely proof that great whites exist in the ocean, something everybody knows. But that explanation is pretty weak considering the size of the beast, which is clearly something much larger than a great white. If this isn't the Meg, it may well be some other prehistoric shark. Maybe we just discovered a whole new species. I wonder how many hat-wearing DeVitos it is. Do you believe that the Meg is still out there or do you have theories of your own? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.